Hi there. Karibu tukuze matunda. Uh, it's another exciting day and we are back in Avasha. Uh, I think uh, we are going to uh, call this a uh, small farm Vasha orchards uh, where we grow passion with passion. Um, and like I've mentioned in my previous uh, videos is that uh, every Monday we come back uh, or rather I ensure that I'm back here. I want to monitor the progress of our project. But also, um, I think I've mentioned this many times, is that uh, if you're prepared to grow passion fruits, then you need to dedicate uh you know time and resources and in the absence of that then you need to have a, a very well coordinated team because these fruits grow very rapidly and as you can see we are almost hitting the you're almost uh, touching the wire up there right um so just a quick update of where we are uh, with this project uh, like I've mentioned before every Monday uh, when we come to just check on the progress and number two there are two things that we do every Monday one if you take a closer look there you'll notice that uh, uh, from the time we last supported this vine you can see those sisal uh, string uh, it continues to grow and needs some some bit of training so most of them are either bending uh, and needs to be you know just trained back or just ensure that uh, yeah if you take a closer look you'll notice that it's already bending it needs to be going up uh, same with this one here um, because they're growing very rapidly yeah, so you have to keep on training them and ensuring them that they are going uh, in the right direction. Um, but again, if you take a closer look, uh, maybe I can show you uh, with this uh, particular one here. Um, yes, this one here that is almost touching the, 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 the wire there. You can see uh, and it's quite an exciting journey let me tell you um, if you take a closer look one of the things that we have to do every Monday uh, you see that shoot that is growing from the side these are lateral shoots because we only want this main uh, shoot to go up you have to keep on pruning these lateral ones because if you encourage them to grow, uh, it, it becomes a very bushy stuff. Um, and that's not what we want. So uh, ideally, you're supposed to remove that. Ensure that you observe uh, good hygiene uh, so that you don't transfer diseases from one vine to the other. But so far, I don't think we have any diseases here. We, we are good people. We take good care of our uh, orchard we have maintained all the spring you know our spring we have stuck to our spring schedule um yeah so chances of having diseases here are very minimal but that doesn't mean that we also don't uh, observe uh, good uh, hygiene management practices but but again if you look at that those are some of the few flowers that we encouraged and you can see the fruits um, are growing rapidly but on the other hand one thing that I've noted after we top dressed our vines with uh, we did a fresh layer of, of manure um, we've noted that most of them if not all are flowering yes look at that these are some of the fruits yes that's how fast passion can can mature we just encouraged a few we removed some flowers um 
So we've noted that uh, flowers, there's a lot of flowering that is happening. Um, and as you can see, our cover crop is still doing well. So we've no had rains. Eh? Um, we had to set up like a proper irrigation system for the beans. That is our cover crop. But yeah, so far so good, I think. We, we are happy with what we have. Um, yeah, so if you take a closer look, you see those little babies, flower there, another one there. This one has opened up, very beautiful flower there. Um, all this, you can see a lot. That one has already closed. You can see a lot of flowering eh? uh, taking place. And to me, that's very encouraging because um, one thing I've in my in my many years of growing fruits whenever you see flowers that's also a sign that uh, you are doing a good job in that uh, one one thing that uh, fruits usually do if you don't water them well uh, they they won't flower so they stagnate and especially if you are growing purples, if I walk into your orchard uh, where you're growing purples, I can be able to tell when you had, when you are taking good care of your purples, and when you stopped, when you stopped watering them, when you stopped feeding, because the tree leaves a trail of history of how it, I mean, um, on how it, it performs. So uh, it's the same. Flowers is a good sign that we are doing everything right um, and it means we are feeding our trees well, we are watering them well and basically that's the life of a fruit farmer. So besides that I think in a week's time we'll be back, you can see some bit of weed growing there. Um, so of course we do irrigate our plants regularly so weeding has to be a continuous thing um and yes uh, we are still hanging uh, we are still nursing hangovers for the safari rail here uh this is vasha so yeah the town is a bit busy this morning uh with i think nairobians and the rest of the residents of this country going back to their homes um but so far so good so um for those who would want to come and visit um i am always here every monday um, of course to do the pruning i do it myself um so if you're very much welcome to come join us and see um what we do to ensure that our orchard uh remains a uh, uh, top notch and well cared for so uh thank you so much uh remember to subscribe and uh share this video a comment a comment is always welcome and leave us some feedback asante um let's continue with our job of pruning bye